Dear Diary, I've been waiting for over three months for an Animal Crossing update and it still won't come. I don't know, I've tried everything. I've written Nintendo, I've yelled into the ether, I've made a million videos, I've predicted, I've looked at the data, I've even tried to just hope it's not working. P.S. If Doug was lying about the updates, I will be forced to add him to my burn book. Sorry, Doug. Guys and girls, sh sh I've come down with something, okay? I can't, I can't stand. All right, it's affecting my head. Got a real bad headache. It's affecting my heart. Real bad heartache. Um, the doctor said it's called update no comitis. And I'm a little worried, but you know, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for a little bit of community therapy. All right, we're gonna go through a number of different things. And this video is gonna kill two birds with one stone. One, it'll help normalize mental health care because I go to therapy and hey, it'd probably be great for everybody too. And two, we're gonna talk about what the heck is going on. I'm gonna hear some interesting thoughts from some others. We're gonna see what we can do while we try to be patient and hopefully this helps us not go <gasps> crazy. All right, so what's going on everybody? It's Zachary Switch for smash that like button if you're ready for an update, okay? It's July middle. That means it's the second week. There are two weeks remaining in this fateful month and I am getting antsy, but it seems like you are as well. So let me know in the comments if you feel like some of these people feel, who you feel the most like. We're gonna go through some group therapies. Let's all hold hands. We are a team, we are a family, I love you. So uh, buckle up, all right? It's about to get heavy in here. There's gonna be a lot of emotions flying back and forth. So make sure you are ready, grab a snack, get situated. We gotta talk about the Animal Crossing update, lack of update, what's happening, when it's gonna happen, if I still, have the faith, and how all of you are doing up there in that great old noggin. Let's kick this right off, all right? Real Life Audino says, I don't know what Bowser meant by soon, but it's clearly very different than my expectation. I moved on to playing other games for daily entertainment and check in on my island weekly now. Okay, I mean, this is very valid, Real Life Audina. I see how you were misled and how you feel betrayed by Mr. Bowser's comments. You know, I don't think he was trying to purposely deceive you, but this is why clear communication is so critical. And I understand it makes perfect sense that you would move on to other games for daily entertainment and just check back in once a week. In fact, I think that sounds a little healthy, unlike some of us who go crazy every morning at 9 a.m. Now, Lyrical Dance Flat, phenomenal name. Bit of a, of, a, of a sad tale. I'm trying not to think about any updates, trying and failing. I understand the mind. It's, it's a tough thing to wrangle. I just hope that it's soon. I've been rearranging my villagers' houses and spelled out my island's name in flowers. It looked horrible, but it looks good on the map. Anybody else done this, tried this? She's like, I'm, I'm working so hard on it. I'm giving it my best, but it turned out terrible. And now I'm embarrassed, but that was 10 hours of my life, so I gotta leave it. Oh, lyrical dance slap. I, I see how this is going. The rearranging villagers thing, that sounds a bit, maybe maybe even, you know, a bit worrisome because you are ruminating on this. You are focusing so heavily on this update. And I, I like that you've been creative. I like that you're starting your own projects. And I advise you to try to pour this nervous, anxious energy into something like that. That was a great idea. Maybe do a little bit more. Fun projects are a great way to keep the AC vibes going. Or you could be like Jason LS who says, I barely play anymore, TBH. And that's honestly so sad to me, you know? Hey, it's okay to feel all sorts of different emotions. And one that I feel a lot with AC lately is just utter sadness because like we've said, this isn't just about the new items and villagers and all that. It's about the fun, the joy, the spark that we get from this game, the fun, the joy, the spark that we get for others, right? It turns Flick's little sad eyes into sparkles and even elephants can balance teacups on their head in this world. It's a chance to find a reprieve, right, from your ordinary life that might or might not be stressful, boring, upsetting, or even downright awful at times. And AC kind of provides, you know, that panacea, right? It's that universal cure when it is fun. But for some people, it still is fun. I mean, Lucky Duck Amy Sweet on Dean says, I still haven't been playing for a full year. Ooh, you get to do a happy dance because you have not arrived at our misery yet. You have not arrived at our concern. You have not arrived at our where the heck is the updates because you're still getting to experience them first time. So still enjoying new things, playing every day. I just redesigned my island and beam, got a gold tourney trophy, and I'm in the process of swapping out some villagers, I think. Oh, baby. Do you remember when you got that joy from getting a trophy? Now you probably have like 10. 
Remember when you swapped out your villagers the first time? You're like, oh my gosh, the game pre-assigned me two villagers and I don't like them. I can choose my own and move them out. I figured it. <sighs> Those early day vibes were amazing. And sometimes I, I long for the past as well. We can't get it back. All we can do is move forward, my friends. And that's why Ian says I've been playing Minecraft. LOL, but TBH has given me a lot of new creative ideas for island builds. And this is really great, Ian. You have found a different outlet and one that actually is motivating and invigorating your original passion. See, sometimes this happens to us where we love something so much that we kind of run it into the ground. But then if we take a time away, we step back, we return, we have newfound energy. We have newfound perspective, and it sounds like that's exactly what Ian has done. And I think a lot of people have gone to other games. Some have gone to Breath of the Wild. Some have gone to Mario Kart. Ian doing his best to go to Minecraft. Kirsty, on the other hand, might need a little bit of community support, okay? So let's all let's all really just give Kirsty our good energy. I've kind of lost all hope for any new quality of loving type updates. Like, I feel like the next update will bring fireworks, and then it'll be Halloween, and that's it. Fully lost hope, Brewster or Cap'n are coming ever. Nintendo can prove me wrong. Now, Kirsty, I understand. You've been through a whirlwind of updates that were great and updates that were not and updates that never came. And all these times you've been thinking that Brewster or Cap'n would come because they're two of the biggest characters that people expect to return to the game from New Leaf and they, they don't come. And, you know, there's this thought going around the community at times that expectations are the worst. Right, we talk up Brewster, we talk up Cap'n, and that lets you down. But it's understandable to have these expectations. They were in past games, and they are characters that you know and love. It's not wrong to expect something that you've you've seen before, that you've experienced before, and that seems downright silly to not include. That makes perfect sense, and it wasn't me that created that expectation. It wasn't even you. It was the darn Nintendo developers themselves. They're the ones who placed Brewster and Cap'n in the last game, and in the games before that, and before that, and before that, and chose to oddly remove them from this adventure. Heck, they probably should have been there day one if they weren't going to do diligent updates. I hope, Kirstie, that they still arrive for your sake and mine. I think we do need Brewster and Captain in the game, but I understand your worry, and I understand your level of suspicion. Now, Kyra says, haven't played for weeks. Pretty name. I'm not a huge designer, and seeing that they've removed so much of the game besides designing, I'm bored. Not much hope for an update either, yes. It's overwhelmed the, the, the nation of ACN natures. This, this sense that there's not much hope. And that's what happens when you don't have clear communication. We're looking for change, and maybe change is being worked on. Maybe change is actually in the gestation period. Sometimes it takes a long time to flip a habit. But if you're not in vocal communication, you don't understand what's going on with your partner, if you're not sure what exactly is happening, it's hard to have faith. And so I get it. You haven't played for weeks, and I'm not the hugest designer as well, although I did find fun in designing. I did find my sort of path on the design timeline and, and understood the, the parts of it that I liked. And I, I found my way towards a really cool water park that I was quite proud of, but you may never get there. And the fact that Nintendo has relied heavily on user-generated content, UGC, as the, the, the tool to propel this game into its second year is surely a bummer from some players. And, you know, you can make cool things like this water park, but then Pocket Camp just straight up gives you a water park, and that seems far more exciting. So I get it, Kira. I understand you are totally valid. I mean, we're all valid here. Every thought, every idea, whatever your take on this is, I think it's your experience and your valid. You paid your 60 bones, okay? You have had your hours invested and you feel how you feel, even if you feel like it's all totally okay. Maybe you're content with the game. That's great, too. I want to make sure that I give a shout-out to those of you that just love the game. Probably some of you out there. You don't have to be disappointed. It's it's okay if you're not. There's nothing wrong with you. Just because everybody's out there on Twitter Watch and Update Watch and all that. Like, it, it's okay if you just enjoy it. Now, Eric says it's boring. And I feel stupid for buying a second Switch. Oh, Eric. I'm going to make my second island a massive graveyard. Rip NH! I can hear Don't Fear the Reaper playing in the background, and this is one of the sadder sessions that I've sat in on. You bought a second Switch because you thought this game was just endlessly awesome. A cornucopia of new things, and then you dumped out that strange triangular copia, and you found there wasn't even a single kernel of corn left in it. What do you do when you got a second Switch, and there's not really much to even design anymore. There's not a whole new core to go after because they've been cored. This apple, all the seeds have been removed. Well, hopefully there is something around the horizon and hopefully there are new elements. I mean, at the very least, you'll get some new items for the big holidays and maybe that can provide you with the spark you need, but I get it. 
dedicating a second Switch to this game, that hurts my heart. There are players out there that bought a second whole system for this game, and Nintendo, that's why it's your responsibility to bring us the update soon. It's July middle, and we're waiting on this. We know that fireworks hit the first weekend of August, so your time is running out. And I do firmly believe that there will be an update. I am an endless romantic. I have an idyllic hope that this will turn out. And I'm going to stick by that because there is data to back that up. And there is Doug Bowser's comments. He did say it. I do believe it. And the data mines, like, that's not make-believe. Brewster and all of that stuff about a museum cafe and a museum shop, that was seen in Nintendo's code. I think they have plans. In fact, I would put money on them having plans. I believe it comes, and it seems like as we get closer and closer to the end of this cycle, this July, we're due. We are so freaking due. Uh, Whitney has a little faith as well. Doug Bowser did say that there will be more updates, so there is some hope. Although we will see if it is substantial. While I wait, I just do my usual daily tasks on ACNH and play other games on the Nintendo Switch. There are so many great demos right now, like Neo, The World Ends With You. Love that one. And Monster Hunter Stories 2. Didn't love that one as much, but yeah, check them out. A lot of other fish in the sea, all right? There's a lot of flavors out there for you to taste. I know a lot of you just got into the Switch for AC specifically, and that's totally cool. But maybe there is something more. But maybe you don't want something more. All right, maybe you just want to explore more of what you love and see what else is in store, and I get that. That's where <clears throat> Clement Pie comes in. I've pushed the idea of an upset aside, TBH. I just play it for what it is, and I enjoy it almost every day. But I must admit, it is quite hard not to think about the potential of a huge update. You're trying, Clement. I can feel you striving to enjoy every time I walk on the dock and I don't see Cap'n. Y'all ever been through a breakup? Y'all ever had high hopes and seen them dashed and crashed? This is what it's like to put your enthusiasm, your faith, your positivity, your passion behind something and it don't work out. Now, there's always hope. Things take time. Even people, relationships, friends, maybe even activities that didn't turn out the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth time. You are valid to give up or to change course, but there's always a chance that on the 50th time, the 100th time, they will come around. The situation might adjust, and you might find your happiness once again. Clemen Pie, I hope for you that this game is just a sweet cherry pie or a banana cream. I hope it's not burnt, I hope it's not crustless, and I hope it surely isn't liquidy. Ugh. But I see and feel this. You walk by that dock and you're reminded of what isn't there, and then we will wrap on Amanda who is trying to be what I think we all wish we could be, just trying to be someone that enjoys this game still. Going back to catch fish and bugs I've missed. String fish, where you at? Also flattening and picking a new theme. Tore down my Victorian island. Built it up to Cape Cod core. Soon it'll be flat again for the Emperor's new groove. Now that is a brilliant set of creative ideas. That is a brilliant attitude. And I applaud you for being so darn innovative. For being so darn just focused on what is here because it is true. ACNH is a great game. I think this game is undoubtedly awesome. Whether the specter of an update arrives or not, and, and it will, like it will. But even if it didn't, this game, the time we've had, the fun we've had, it still is one to be treasured. And I would not say that it is a failure, no matter what. Even if there never wasn't another piece of content, I would still say this is a success. And this has been a positive impact and even a monumental impact on many of our lives. And that, to me, is worth so much more than majority of the games out there can ever say. Majority of media. I mean, so many things are fun or interesting or time-wasting. This one changed us. This one was there for us. And that's why I think we so badly want it to continue to be that. It's like a good friend. You never want to see that friend move. You never want to see that friend leave you behind. And... I know this is kind of a goofy mock therapy session for all of us, and in no way am I a therapist, but I do believe that we're gonna get there, guys and girls. And thank you for sharing this time with me. I know there hasn't been a ton of new stuff. In fact, there's been nothing. But I thank you for, for being here because we still are a community, and this still is a cool game, and it's still fun to talk about and engage with and decide and hope. And I'm telling you, as a Detroit Lions fan, a team that's never, ever even made it to the Super Bowl, when it finally happens, when you finally get that win, 
When the update finally arrives, it's gonna be so darn satisfying. And those of us that have stuck with it, that didn't sell our cartridge, that believed in it from the beginning, we're gonna be bouncing off the walls. You better believe that moment is gonna be great. I look forward to it. I can't wait, and you know we're gonna share it together. So thank you so much. Hit that like button for hope. Let me know who's, uh, whose comment you feel aligns the most with where you're at mentally. Hope you guys are all doing good mentally out there. Honestly, like, that's genuine for me. Mental health is serious. And mental health is something that deserves just as much focus as physical health. And it's totally okay. There's nothing taboo about taking care of you. And I love you so much. So stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Stay positive out there, guys and girls. Thanks again for watching. Till next time, Switch Force, out.